Assalamu alaikum. What's up guys? So in this video we are going to have a look at bottom sheets in Flutter. So there are two types of sheets, a persistent bottom sheet and model bottom sheet. A persistent bottom sheet uh, remains visible even when the user is interacting with the other contents of the application. For example, switching between the tabs or uh, using the text form field. Well, a model bottom sheet is the alternative way. Well, so as you can see, I have made two cards which are non-clickable, but I made it clickable via gesture detector widget. And we're gonna access the two. So first, we will look at the model bottom sheet. For that, I am creating a function of type widget. show model bottom sheet pass the context here and as for the builder pass the context here also and then return what you need to return I am using the container I think there is some error I am giving a height of 200 and color of colors dot red. Pass this function to the model bottom sheet. Now when I hot reload, as you can see, the model bottom sheet is up and I cannot access the other contents if I have to I have to first close this sheet and then I can access the other ones you can also do a lot of stuff with the sheet for example let's pass a list style widget leading will be an icon of let's say icons dot navigation and in the title, let's say so as you can see a list style has been implemented. So let's get to the persistent bottom sheet example. For that, I will create another function. Before creating a function, we need to understand what is a global key. Well, a global key is used to access the state of a stateful widget from anywhere in the widget tree. So what is the syntax to write? Let's declare a final variable, pass on the scaffold key and then write global key which will take the scaffold state since we will access the widget tree pass on the scaffold state and in the scaffold there is a parameter of key pass the scaffold key here it's a good approach to make the variable private now let's use the other function widget persistent sheet pass on the context and what I will do now is I will pass the scaffold key dot current state dot show bottom sheet which is the persistent bottom sheet and I will return the same thing Let's check it out the persistent sheet. So 
so when I click the bottom sheet is up but I can access the other functions for example if if I have the text form field here I can access it okay let me tell you okay let's implement that as well So restart the app for a better explanation. Okay. So by clicking, okay. So by clicking the persistent bottom sheet, if I want to, if I want to access the text form field, I can access it quite easily, and there would be no difference. But if I am using the model bottom sheet. I cannot access the text field. I have to first close the sheet and then I can access. So how to manually close the persistent bottom sheet? For that, I will use a raise button. Pass on the width first. Size dot width. And in the child, pass a raised button close and in the on press method just use the navigator dot pop don't pass this context here as we have to close the current context so I will use the scaffold key instead of this context so pass the scaffold key dot current context and let's reload the application and as you can see now if you press close it will close okay guys so that's all from this video i hope you like it please like share and subscribe to this channel and for more amazing content stay tuned and hit that bell icon Thank you so much for watching this video.